Michael's doing everything he can. And the white flag is up. Final lap at Daytona. And Junior just not letting get him get, let Michael get right behind him. He keeps moving around on the racetrack. Michael is on the outside of him, inside of him. He can't get a good pull on the eight car. Yeah, he's breaking that trap as much as he can. And the cars behind him just aren't able to push him hard enough to get to Junior. What you got here is a case of the fastest car pulling the pack around. Half a lap to go. But it's, was that Michael just said, I can't get up to him? His fourth consecutive NASCAR Bush Series restrictor plate win and his third in three tries this season. Bernhardt Jr. takes the win, Dixie 250. The outside, so he's the big loser in that. Here he comes. White flag. White flag. Clear by truth. Ryan Newman looking for win number six of 2003. Mayfield with a final desperation shot at him. Remember what happened in the last corner last night? Will we have a repeat? He's got to catch him first. Not oh, he tries. Got to get there. Ryan Newman wins the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. He doesn't really have tires to cause him. I'd be protecting that bottom right now and not playing around on that high side. One lap to go. White flag. There you go. You heard Ty Norris, his spotter, tell him, protect that bottom. Got to stay on the bottom now. This is no time to be pulling somebody. Don't worry about that. You just win this race. Stay on the bottom. Michael will take care of himself. All three wide at the back of the pack. Now, all of these cars are in the 500 if they cross the finish line. And they all know it, and I've got a pretty good idea. You'll see that uh, they're going to use good, good banners coming to the line. Jimmy Johnson would like to get to the outside here, but Tony's not going to allow that. Every position you get from here to the line, you start one row further forward of the 500, and here they come. Yep. Dale Jr. to win it. Walter, Bodine, Wallace, Stewart. White flag. Boy, they're dicing and slicing for that transfer spot. White flag, folks. Terry Labonte, Kenny Wallace, side by side and three wide with Matt Kenseth for the final spot. Yeah, three wide for that transfer spot with one to go. Boy, I'm telling you, look at Gordon. He's working that thing. 23, Kenny Wallace. That's Kenny Wallace, I'm sorry. And he's stuck in the middle, Darrell. That's why he was working so hard. He's trying to keep that thing off the cars around him. He was in 15th at the white flag. That's the final transfer position. Well, we know who's going to win. Robbie Gordon, Jeff Green, Ricky Rudd, Jeff Burton, Jimmy Spencer trying to make things happen. Whoa, he gets up almost into Craven. Boy, here they come. Bump, draft, bump, draft, push, push. Get me there first. Get me into Daytona 500. Boy, Casey Mears. Mears. Casey he Mears. Is, he is in the Daytona 500. Rookie Casey Mears in the 41 car. What a good go. in front of you. Oh, I love to hear that when I'm in the lead. Doggone it. One to go. Two truck links between your leader and second. This is going to be a great finish as Bobby Hamilton takes him down the back stretch. Ted Musgrave right behind him. Turn two is the best place to make a move. Ted gained on him, but he couldn't quite do it. Look coming here. Watch going into three. It's tightening up. Ted Musgrave on the inside. Bobby Hamilton on the outside. The bottom. As they come through three and four, it's Ted Musgrave oh, on man. the inside. Bobby Hamilton is going to be able to close the door, and Hamilton wins the Craftsman 200. No caution. No caution. No caution. No caution. One lap to go. Jimmy Johnson got his car going. So we're under green. We have another almost a lap of racing. Yeah, I just thought, I just said to myself, if they can make it around without wrecking, I'll, I'll, I'll never believe that. Now, Dale Jr. becomes the Department of Defense. But you watch him, Daryl. I bet he'll hug that yellow line. He don't want to open up the bottom. NASCAR has called Jr.'s pass a clean pass. This is for the win. Can he do it, guys? It'd be four in a row. He has about a fourth of a lap to go. Remember, the start-finish line is way down headed into turn one. It's not in the center of the trial. You can't do it, Larry. You can't make it. You can't get, you're not going to pull out and pass him with a single foul like that. Dale Earnhardt 
Jr. Four straight wins at Talladega. Kevin Harvick second, Elliott Sandler third, Ricky Craven fourth, and Terry Labonte top five. It was actually Michael Dockin that was in that other car. White flag. White flag comes out, guys. Ted Musgrave out in front. Ultra Motorsports. Jimmy Smith's been a part of this series since its inception in 1995. He's had a truck running in every race, all 200 of them. And also, they were currently in second in the all-time wins behind Roush. Now, if Popple's Ted there. Musgrave can hold on. Popple's right there. He comes out of turn number four, and Ted Musgrave wins the O'Reilly 200. Not by much, he did. Great. Miles of racing left at Talladega. Do they all make it back around? And who's the first one to the checkered flag? Wow, there's Tony Stewart. Shuffling Rusty Wallace out of the way. Jeff Gordon trying to block. Stewart trying to find some running room. Stewart up the center. So far, no It's Kevin Harvick in the black and silver car. Gordon's on the outside of the eight car. Gordon's trying to jump in front of Harvick and get the push. Gordon to second. Michael Walter trying to figure out who to block. Here they come to the final corner and down to the start-finish line. Idea. Look at the crossover move. He got into it. Come on, Blair. Good job, man. Hang in there. And here comes Blaney. Blaney oh, oh, is oh. now the best car on the track. Oh, baby. I'm telling you, Kurt Busch is not going to give up the win. No, he's not. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. Ricky Craven's not going to give up either. Come on, Ricky. He gets that right on the high side right there. Kurt Busch looks Come like on, he's baby. struggling with his race car. Here he comes. Busch here we go again. Hurt. He's going to wait on him. He's going to put the crossover on him. He realized that wasn't a good move that last time. White flag. Here he goes. He's going to try to slide under him here. Come on, baby. And Blaney's coming. Both these cars are driving terrible right now. Nah. Half a lap to go. Nah, they're driving good. Come on, baby. You can do it on this end of the speedway. Come off the four and get up alongside of him. Half a mile Here he gone. comes. Here he comes. Who's going to get off the Here he comes. Board? Here he comes. He's got him this time. It's going to be a drag race. Whoa. Oh. They touch. They touch. Crap. Oh. Even oh. got him. Craven got him! Craven got him! And Craven! All right! What a finish! Have you ever? No, I've never! Wow! <laughs> what a finish! <laughs> that is one happy group right there. That's one great race. I'm going to tell you, it's the goodest race I've ever seen at Darling. Scott Miller gets his first win as a crew chief. Pontiac gets a win. Kyle Wells' engine program gets a win. First year for that engine program. And for the fifth time in Darlington history, a race is settled with a last lap pass. 
<laughs> we didn't have a last lap pass for the no, win last year. Was... That's the end of that. <laughs> that was a last at the start finish line pass there. What a race. I got to see this again. I do too. Let's, let's watch. Coming off turn four onto the front stretch. That's about as close as it'll get right there. And this right here, I don't know what kept them from both wadding them up down here in turn t uh, turn one, but bam, oh boy, Craven really shot out into it. It is amazing they didn't wreck after they crossed the start finish line. Daryl, if instead of Bush coming down into Craven, if he stays straight, does he beat Craven? I don't think he had any choice, Mike, because Craven came off the bottom and really slammed into him. I think they got hooked together and couldn't get apart. Look at Craven in there. Look at him fighting that steering wheel. And That's it's a, a good thing that Pontiac's got the kick out on the nose. Yeah, that was the difference. <laughs> but he wouldn't have won. Look at how close this finish is. Oh. Right there. Wow. <laughs> oh, baby. And I'm going to tell you what, they didn't even need seats in these grandstands because nobody was sitting down. And nobody's leaving. Look at this, right to the line, how close can you get it? But now, what's really, when they get on down here, I mean, I, I thought they were both going to wad him up and they'd have to take him to victory circle on the rollback. Steve Burns with the runner-up.